So, once you have uh, port forwarded your router for Minecraft, you need to go download the server itself. So, let's do that. Let's go to Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever internet browser you have, and then type in the URL bar minecraft.net. That should be pretty obvious for you already. Then play Minecraft, you click download. And scroll down, it says multiplayer server. If you're running on Windows and want to set it up easily, down Minecraft server.exe. Download that, click that. If you have Internet Explorer, it will not save it properly, so you need to type .exe at the end. But if you have Google Chrome or Firefox, you do not need to do that. Save it to your desktop uh, or anywhere, any location you want to save it. We're going to create a new folder for it after it saves. Uh, I don't know where I put it. Where is it? says it's on my desktop. I do not see it. There it is, right there. Minecraft server. And it's going to have the same icon as the Minecraft, so you might need to look at it again. But anyway, create a new folder and name it uh, server or whatever you want to call it and drag it in there. Once you do that, run the server and it will uh, generate all the files for you you need, pretty much doing it for you. Uh, it's going to ask you to, uh, if you have Vista or 7, it's going to have you, have you do this. Um, and then like if you, I guess do both maybe, um, yeah, do both because you might not have, um, the best, and I, I, I don't know, just, yeah, whatever. Anyway, once it's generated, we need to see if you can log in. So first you need to go to your, find your IP. So go back to the internet, go to Google. Da, da, da. Go to google.com. Then in Google, type what's my IP, and it will say right there. It says mine. This one, this is my IP. I'm not. I'm censoring it out because I don't want you to see it. But you copy that, and you go open up Minecraft and log in, and you click multiplayer, add server, and then just my server or whatever you want to call it. And then you just paste it in there. Mine is not that. Let me let me get mine. And then to paste it, uh, just hit Control V. Make sure you don't have any spaces that had spaces. Because you have spaces that might not work. And then. Um, See if you can log in. And lo and behold, I am logged in. I port forwarded correctly, and people can join my server now. So that is pretty much how you do it. It's very simple, very basic. I am going to show you um, some property files you can mess around with. So let me just, I'm going to stop the server right now. Just type, to do that, just type stop. And it will say connection loss, blah, 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 blah. But you open, you go back to your server folder and see how it says world, band IPs, players, ops, server, etc., etc. Uh, you look for the properties file where it says in the type, and then right click it and click open with, and then uh, click notepad. And it will allow you to open up all properties files with notepad now. And you can edit the properties here, allow nether, true or false. If you have it set false, people can still build nether portals and have the portal activated, but they cannot go through it. It will just, keep, they'll stay where they are. Level name, world, you can change that to whatever you want. Allow flight false. Um, this will not conflict with creative. So if you're on creative, you can fly. But if you have a flight mod and you're on survival, it will kick you from the game. Um, enable query. I don't know what that is. Uh, enable query. Sorry, whatever, whatever. Server port 25565. Keep that the same unless you've changed it. But that I, you shouldn't have changed it because that's harder to do. Enable archon. I don't know what that is. Level seed. You can change the seed when it generates. Uh, for you to do that, you'd have to delete the world and then put the seed in and then restart the server. Um, server IP, don't mess with that, you don't want to. It, trust me, it's a waste of time, you'll just screw everything up. Whitelist, false or true, depending on whether you want people to not be able to join, but if you don't give your IP out to everyone, then it won't matter. Spawn animals, true, online mode, true, this, uh, this is, you really, it doesn't, this part does not matter, it makes it less secure if it's on false, but people with hacked clients can come into your server. Um, so if you don't have a legit Minecraft, you can connect with this if it's set to false. PvP true, difficulty one, uh, I'm guessing the higher it is, the harder it is. Game mode zero, that means when you first log in, you'll be on survival. If you set it to one, you'll be on creative. 
There is a command to switch it back and forth, but it's more complex because you have to type a lot. Max player is 20. Spawn monster is true. Mew distance 10. Message of the day, Minecraft server. I can change this to whatever I want. I want to change it to hi, everyone. And I'm going to save it. File, save. Close. And uh, let's load up the server and see if it works. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Loading, 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 loading. I personally do not like this type of server because it takes a long time to load. Um, I personally prefer Bucket, uh, but whatever, to, to each your own or whatever. Multiplayer, and it says server communication error. There we go. Hi, everyone. See? Right there. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope I helped. Um, write and comment. Bye.